Hey guys, Dan the Vegan Man. I am now in Naruto Park, uh, which is in Shikoku Island. Um, it's one of the main islands of Japan. It's not necessarily uh, very touristy, um, among Westerners anyway. Um, but it's a, it's a lovely spot and it's got so much uh, to offer, including a beach, uh, which is just behind me. There. I'm so sorry about the wind. It's like, uh, you've been getting so many um, episodes of wind in my videos, but can't help it. This is, um, this is how it is. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna um, quickly talk about what I've just encountered. So I've been down uh, to the beach. So there's a beautiful uh, bridge down there. It's gorgeous. There's little whirlpools um, twice a day, which I'm here to see, which are happening uh, in a while. So in the meantime, I walk down uh, to the beach and literally every time I go to any beach in the world, I'll see bloody rubbish. And it makes me so angry, like, I just don't understand. People cannot dispose of their bloody rubbish. Um, I mean, Japan is actually really hard with like disposing things. You don't necessarily find um, a rubbish bin uh, on the streets. Um, but it's quite a touristy area. There's, uh, I mean, there's heaps of ashtrays to begin with, um, and which is a good thing actually, because another thing, cigarette butts go in the ocean all the time. Um, and but there's also rubbish bins here. So I'm not saying the rubbish down there actually comes from this beach. It probably got washed, um, washed up there from far away. I don't know. But like this is what I got, because um, I always like. I just see it and I just can't walk past it. I just have to pick up something. I mean, I can spend all day, all my life on this beach, on any beach to clean it up. I know I can't do it all. Um, so I need all of you to contribute as well. Um, so my page, um, danthevegan.man.com has a few tips on what you can do to make the environment a little better, what you can do to contribute. Um, so what I do is I may not have any bags, anything with me. I just pick up random things <laughs> that come across my way. Um, so I pick up all this stuff um, by hand. So all these um, bottles of, you know, vending machine uh, coffee, one not even opened. Um, you know, all these plastic bottles and stuff like that. Foam, you know, like I try and pick up little things as well. I know like again like they're so tiny sometimes but if i can see them like especially foam um obviously um sea animals uh, mistake them for food and then you know they die from that uh, but any of these things really i mean they they dissolve eventually and then if um fish or any other kind of um sea animal um eat them uh gotta be fatal eventually i mean we've all seen the footage of uh, you know, the tangled penguin or the dying sea turtle or whatever, all due to all the pollution that's going into the, into the ocean. So I'm just gonna, I'm just posting this video to urge you, if you come across any rubbish, not just on the beach, just pick it up. I mean, I mean yes, it's dirty, just wash your hand afterwards, whatever, just pick it up. You've got two hands. Um, so again, I'm not saying pick it all up, but if everybody could pick up three things, on the way somewhere that they come across, uh, if they come across rubbish, it would make the world of good. Just think of it as you're picking up rubbish, it could save an animal's life, you know? Because eventually, if it's on the street, if you're far away from the ocean uh, or any kind of water, it's gonna be in the ocean or in the water eventually, you know, if you just leave it there. It's gonna make its way there. There's wind, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all these things. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna dispose of all this shit, including that bloody shoe. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, sorry, use your name up there, but I mean, I just don't understand all the stuff that you find on the beach. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen uh, more obscure things. <laughs> um, but yeah, just putting it out there. Just do your bit if you can. Um, it's really easy. I'm not saying you have to do everything. I know I can't do everything either. So I'm just putting it out there. Um, spread the word and I hope you can as well and tell your friends. Um, it's really important to keep um, this planet clean. Um, and just, you know, if we all work together as one, we all want to live here. Uh, we all want our the next generation to live here as well. And we can't exist without plants and animals. You know, it's we all call it coexisting. Uh, and it's all necessary for the planet. 
So if we don't look after all of the planet, not just humans, but plants, animals, the whole environment, then we're going to be doomed. It's going to be gone eventually. All these animals are extincting um, and vanishing from the from the earth. Uh, it's just terrible, and it's all due to humans. So um, if humans could step up to the plate and um, think of it even as uh, doing it as an incentive for themselves, if they don't want to do it for the for the animals or the environment, um, then at least they can do it from themselves for themselves. You know, like who wants to live in a world full of rubbish, you know, and pollution? Um, I know I don't I don't. So uh, yeah, so every time I see it, uh, I'll just pick it up, uh, and I I'm hoping that when I pick it up, people see it, and it makes them at least think, you know, what I'm doing. You know, they might be like, oh, he's such a weirdo, you know, whatever. I don't care. I'm happy to be weird. If that means I'm doing the right thing, and that's a good thing, right? So think about that. Um, so, yeah. Spread the word. Peace out. And please do your bit and check out danaveganman.com for more information and other topics. Bye.